our next test, what we want to do in this case is to test if an organism has the ability to consume blood. Overall, it possesses an enzyme called hemolysin that is able to destroy red blood cells. So here we will test our regular blood agar plates that we've used in the past. And what we want to do is inoculate it with a particular set of organisms and then establish after a couple of days whether or not it can actually use that blood as a source of energy. Now there are stages on how this can use it. There's incomplete hemolysis and there's complete hemolysis. We call alpha and beta versions of this. And so in certain stages, when we look at the plates, the organism where we inoculate it will have this small zone of clearance around it. It'll start clearing up a little bit. However, if it's complete, like a beta hemolytic organism, will pretty much clear out the entire plate, leaving it almost empty or devoid of color red. So your job will be to inoculate a plate, take a look at the plate after a couple of days and see what happened to the presence of blood and if that organism has hemolysin and the ability to utilize completely or incompletely, partially, if you will, the ability to consume blood. For laboratory 25, we started with the original blood agar place that we've used. And when inoculated, we now observe the effect that it has in terms of the organism that possesses these enzymes called hemolysins, and they can perform it in an incomplete manner or a more complete manner, partial versus complete. This is referred to as an alpha hemolysis versus a beta hemolysis. And what you can tell from what it originally used to be, the discoloration of the area versus where blood used to be, and then a more complete or thorough removal of the blood by hemolysin, and in this case, beta hemolysis versus alpha hemolysis in its original state.